It's Roy from Everything, and I'm here on the ground in Las Vegas uh, at reInvent 2023. Um, Jim Carroll reached out and asked if I would give a few quick takes, um, given what we're hearing on the ground here from AWS's uh, big annual events. Um, along with, I'm here along with you know probably 60 to 80 thousand developers. It sure feels like that. I'll give a couple of highlights, and I'm sure in the coming weeks, Jim and I will delve into the announcements in a lot more detail. Uh, but if you're interested in next-gen infrastructure and AI and telco in, in, uh, data centers and so on, um, this is uh, for you. So very quickly, Amazon Q, that's for everyone. That's uh, Amazon's new uh, smart assistant, you know, named after Bond's Q, uh, if, you, if you guys uh, know the James Bond series of movies. Um, but anyhow, so Q is meant to be a smart assistant to provide you with whatever you need, information you need, in whatever context you are on AW, AWS's uh, services. So, you know, if you're writing code, it'll help you with writing code. You're trying to deploy infrastructure. You can answer questions like what's the best EC2 instance uh, for running graphic workloads and, you know, and, and so on and so forth. So it's meant to be a smart in-context assistant. And they're expanding that capability into data that's stored within AWS as well, as well. So structured and unstructured data in S3 and databases. The goal is to be able to answer queries like you know, you update the HR policies and they can answer questions around that. We'll see if you know how, how that building block makes sense or whether that capability makes sense you know, for enterprises given the large number of enterprise applications out there with AI built in. And um, so along with that, Amazon Bedrock, as expected, um, you know, made, had a starring role um, talking about expansion of Bedrock. Uh, obviously, you know, it's a great way of consuming pre-trained LLMs, you know, sort of pre-built uh, uh, LLMs from Entropic, which Amazon has an investment in, as, and as well as other partners. Um, here and you know and stable diffusion and so on and so forth so certainly an easy way to consume but they've expanded bedrock and in, in a way that i think makes a lot of sense especially for folks who are working with uh, ai um, they've added knowledge base for retrieval augmentation re retrieval augmented generation or rag um, they've added agent based interfaces so you can do programmatic uh, elements uh, using lambda <laughs> what else um, and then added guardrails so try to filter out toxicity uh, with uh, some simple settings that are built in, obviously you can expand that. And uh, in addition to that, um, not just the pre-trained models, but they've added you know, fine tuning and continual pre-training, I suggest you check it out, uh, to that service so you can uh, make it smarter with your own data. So Bedrock, definitely one of the star of the shows here. Um, and then along with these AI uh, announcements, certainly the announcement of the new Trainium 2 chip uh, that's 4x faster than Trainium 1 or 4x more capable, trains faster um, and in a clustered configuration, these ultra clusters that they're talking about, it can get to 65 exaflops um, and remarkably the same 65 exaflops is the same um, performance capability that you can get with an NVIDIA cluster and along, along with the announcements of all the AI stuff, um, uh, Jensen Huang came on stage, right? So CEO of NVIDIA to announce uh, with Adam Salipsky, CEO of, of AWS, um, uh, a joint um, an a joint announcement about the Grace Hopper chips being available on AWS and certainly the H200 that was recently announced on AWS as well. And, you know, using the clustered approach, again, 65 exaflops, right? So that's an interesting um, number that's similar across the Trainium and the um, and the NVIDIA GPU uh, clusters. Um, in addition to all these AI announcements, there was a lot of serverless. Uh, Pete DeSantis and his Monday Night Keynotes talk a lot about serverless, new serverless capabilities across all the databases. Um, and so I think, you know, Lambda and serverless is definitely gaining more momentum, more traction. I think AWS probably feels like the enterprise customer base that they have, or in general, the customer's base that they have. Um, are getting beyond containers, and maybe it's time to move uh, new applications to serverless, which um, has been a, a longer journey than I think we all expected, but certainly that's 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 happening. Um, we'll see on the telco side if we can get past uh, microservices and containers into serverless. Uh, probably not quite yet. There's still a lot of VNFs and virtual network functions around, but, but certainly serverless is one of the big um, focus elements around here. Um, and... For telcos, a uh, couple of other announcements that I thought was interesting. Um, certainly, we're seeing a lot more traction with the telcos, a lot more use case examples that they're showcasing here and promising more to come at MWC next year in 2024 in Barcelona, but also um, Kuiper. So Amazon Kuiper, which is their satellite constellation, um, they launched 
they pre-launched two, and apparently all tests are going very successful. Announced relationships with NTT, Verizon, and Vodafone, and so they're not, they are in in some ways, uh, you know, working with the carriers, but they've also stated that they'll go direct to enterprises and direct to consumers, but they're all looking at carry cust uh, partners as as go to market, um, as well as offering the carriers uh, the type of services as a foundation upon which they can build new services or use as mobile backhaul, especially for remote regions where you can't afford to run fiber. So certainly a lot of new innovative thinking around you know, satellite constellations and how that in conjunction with the CSP partners can create a new innovative offering. So seeing a lot of these um, types of announcements, uh, sort of new Lego bricks for the telcos, and I think it comes down to seeing how the telcos in conjunction with AWS uh, will roll those out. And so I think that wraps it up for now. I'm not going to go too long, um, but um, I would say this month on Next Gen Infra, we will be launching our showcase dedicated to data center, data center networking for the next gen workloads, including AI, ML, what else. Um, please be sure to check it out when that comes out. And if your company is reinventing for this next phase of network infrastructure, uh, do get in touch with us. Um, and the links to follow are in the description below. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.